So tell me, Richard, what are we looking at today? We're looking at new MTX uh, printer based on JV5 proven technology, aqueous-based textile printer. All in one unit, calendar unit on the front, small footprint. Are there other sizes available? Yes, uh, 1600 and this one at 3.2 meter. It's quite an impressive unit, isn't it? It is, very. I notice there's a, the quality coming off the machine is very high. Why is that? Uh, variable drop technology to start with and also down to the profile of the machine. Is that your remit? Yes, it is really. Very okay. good, very good. A lot of the clients now are asking for light box applications and backlit applications. Yes. Is this machine good for that? Superb for that. It's down to the ink set that's with the machine, down to the calendar system. The density is very, very strong on, on these inks. And as it's uh, printed on polyester materials, does that mean these materials are recyclable? Yes, it does. Also, we can wash the material as well if we use them for exterior use. And how long will they last outside? Up to three years, but this is obviously dependent on the materials that are used as well. Excellent. What about the insulation machine? Time it takes, uh, what sort of time on site do you need? Well, the machine actually comes in, in two separate pieces. Okay. It comes with the JV5 engine, as we discussed earlier on, yes. along with the fixation unit at the front. Okay. On average, the installation time is around three days. One day to put the machine into place, the second day to make sure that we're up and running with the machine, and then the third day to make sure we're printing. However, we will extend that to five days for operator training and color profiling to make sure our okay. customers That's are 100% happy. So roughly within a week, you're up and running in production. That's correct. Can you tell me a little bit more about, about the unit itself? Yeah, absolutely. The, um, the 3.2 MTEX um, uses a DX5 heads from Epson, which is a very sturdy head, variable drop head yes. from 8 picolitres, um, up to 1440 DPI. So does that mean we get sharp text? Absolutely. The machine will print real pin sharp text um, and extremely vibrant, accurate colours. Yeah, the ink system on the machine is an aqueous based ink. Okay. So the ink will actually print direct to the textile. Within the machine there is a gully that if you are printing flag, the ink will actually go through the flag, the porous okay. to open textile and collect yep. in the reservoir so it won't spoil the back of the print. Um, it will then advance the material to the fixation unit which is at the front of the machine here. The fixation unit itself uses very accurate stepper servo motors. So as the material comes through the machine, it then fixates the ink at around 150 to 170 degrees. So that means both the machines are linked together? Absolutely. They're coordinated and linked together by the control panel that's on the fixation unit here, made by MTEX. So does this control speed, temperature? The printer will actually print up to 60 square meters an hour. Okay. Fixating the ink will all depend on time within the fixation system. So therefore, the faster we go, the higher the temperature we have within the unit. I understand. So this is what they call dwell time. Absolutely, it's complete dwell time within the fixation unit. The temperature measurement is extremely accurate. There are actually 12 heaters within the okay. fixation unit. Importantly, they are individually controlled, yes. especially on the side of the unit where we have potential for heat loss into the frame. The, the, the design of the machine means that the textile actually running through the fixation unit doesn't touch anything until it meets the bottom roller. Okay. Therefore, we do not have any offsetting of unsublimated product. So, so this is like ghost in effects. That's correct. The majority of the fabrics that we utilize within the machine uh, are coated. Okay. Um, if you're going to use the fabric outside immediately that's, that could be subject to moisture and rain, then we would recommend that you wash the material. Okay. The ink itself will stay as part of the, uh, of the material, as we said earlier on, up to three years, depending on the product. Okay, I understand. For indoor applications um, and on certain media, you don't have to watch it at all. For instance, we have been trialling some material here which is used for 220 GSM indoor display that we can print perfect colours on and it immediately go into a light box. I believe you took some home recently and put it in the washing machine. Is that correct? I did, I did. Um, we have most equipment here at DPI, but we don't have a washing machine. <laughs> so as a, as a test, I actually took some flag home. I did cut it into two uh, in the vertical. I washed one, um, put it right next door to the other, other piece after it came out of the washing machine, and the colours were exactly the same. No loss at all? No real depth? 
of colours. No loss of depth of colours and the fixation was superb on the unit. Okay. Have you worked out the figures for the running costs of the machine now as in ink and in cost per square metre? The MTEC solution is all in one, a printer and a fixation unit. Other solutions on the, on the market include a printer and a separate calendar unit, okay. which means almost twice the cost because of two machines required. And also that, that makes the footprint a lot larger, doesn't it? Of course it does. You have a double the footprint, you have double the electricity consumption. And space. And space, and also speed for the finished job. Because that means you've got to print, take the roll off, put it to the fixation unit, and then fix it. Absolutely, absolutely. As you can see, the ink system sits on top of the machine. The ink itself comes in two litre containers, which can be changed on the fly whilst the machine is still printing. The front panel, touch, front touch panel, you can control temperature, tension on the media, and extraction of the fumes. Also, speed through the machine. Other possibilities are that you can actually turn the back heater system off. Why is that relevant, Richard? We have some fabrics now which are self-adhesive, so it means that the liner doesn't become burnt or damaged, and it means you put self-adhesive fabrics through the machine, or textiles. And is that unique on the MTEX? Yes, I believe it is. Tell me a little bit more about the heater control. Okay, the heater control is very advanced on this machine. We can actually select which areas we'd like the temperature on, from outside towards the middle, so from narrow uses of media, or narrow medias, we can actually turn off the outer ones to control. Also, it has thermal pickups to make sure we maintain the temperature within the machine. I think traditionally with machines with heaters on the outside, there's a, there's, there can always be a loss to the frame. How does the MTEX fixation unit combat that? It, it has separate uh, heater controls for the outside, and separate thermostat pickups. So how easy is it to maintain the machine? The machine's no, diff no more difficult to maintain than most inkjet printers that are on the market in large format. Five, ten minutes a day, probably at the end of the week, ten to fifteen minutes, quick clean round. One of the concerns with printers is ink wastage. Does the machine purge itself a lot, Richard? No, it, no, it doesn't at all. Uh, this is, we set this machine up uh, early last week and it may look a lot at the moment, but it's actually just above the first line. And this has been a brand new machine, set up, purged, and ready for production. How much fabric have you printed since the machine's been installed? We've printed 300 metres at the moment. And that's all the waste we have? Yes, it is. Just above the first line. So Richard, tell us about the extraction unit. OK, so open the door and show you inside the extraction unit. The extraction unit has four filters. The lower, the lower filter is, a, is an oil filter to extract the oil out of the vapour. Out of the vapour. Second one up is a normal type of extraction filter and the third one up and the top one is a carbon filter to remove the last bits of vapour out, out of the air. And how's the, uh, how's the extractor unit controlled? It's actually controlled from the, from the front panel system. So it's extremely friendly for an operator who's operating the machine? Yes it is. As you can see from this example the, the MTEX produces stunning backlit graphics. You can see the density of the ink in the black areas and the vibrancy of the orange in the fish. 